It's interesting when people, you were saying about like pointing a finger at other people or whatever, but it's interesting when people point within their own community, mm -hmm. whichever community it is, and say, I want to fix this problem, or I don't like some of the stereotypes, or I don't like how we're turning on each other. Mm -hmm. You know, Do you think sometimes people get rubbed the wrong way when, when you try to address that? Absolutely. Uh, just like yesterday, again, I, I think I was telling you yesterday, I was talking to this young lady and she was saying that uh, she pulled me to the side. She was like, look, this project, referring to black and privilege, was difficult for me to watch. And I, and I, I said, why? She said, because it's, it's difficult when you have to look at yourself and examine yourself. She said, it's difficult. And, um, and so whenever you have to, again, like, you know, it's easy, to, it's easy, it's easy for, for us to, like, for people, period, to point the finger and, and say, okay, this is why such and such is, is going on, instead of just looking in the mirror and dealing with the evil within. So it's easy to, to, to um, point the finger because most of us don't like to examine self. So when she said that, I'm like, you know, she said, but it needs to be dealt with. We need to talk about it. So this is what we do with Black and Privilege is that what we do is we don't, we don't uh, point the fingers at nobody because you have to, we have to correct our, our own issues, right? We have to deal with our own issues. And how do we do that? So there's a scene where um, the guy goes out, the one in the main character goes out because the, the people moving into the, uh, from the projects moving to the, the community, this thriving uh, black community. And now you see all this trash on, on the ground. So he goes out with a paper bag and he starts to pick the trash up. So are we waiting for somebody else to come and pick the trash up? Or are we gonna just say, okay, if there's trash on your street, on your block, you can't depend on the city to go come and pick that trash up. It's just as simple as that. Pick the trash up, you know. And uh, so that's what the project is about. It's about um, it's about examining self and correcting self, and so our communities communities can be safe and decent. Like we all should, like this is this is just it's a human it's. Now that is a human privilege. It doesn't have to do with, another thing too is that I know we, we talk about, you, you see a lot of things, people talk about white privilege, right? And I know people may disagree, me with, disagree with me on this, is the fact that why should we ask anybody to give up their privilege? Like, I, like, I don't think we have a right to ask anybody to give up their privilege because uh, we just have to, every human being, like, a, every human being, like, sh should be, like, like to go out and, and walk down a decent neighborhood, or a safe neighborhood, or, uh, to have your community to be economically strong, that's, a, that's a, like a privilege. And that's something that we don't want to take away from other people. Like, like, you have that right. You have that right to live in a decent neighborhood. You have that right to live in a clean neighborhood, to live in a economically strong neighborhood, and nobody have the right to take that, that, that privilege away from you. Just create your own privilege within your neighborhood to make it strong, to make it decent, to, uh, so your children, our children can walk down the street, our women can walk down the street, you don't see uh, guys hanging out on the street. Nobody should be, nobody should be asked to give, give up their privilege for anything at all, you know? You know, so that's my thing on that. That's my take on that. And has anybody criticized you on the movie from within the community because they felt that something wasn't portrayed right or you were making a statement or something and they felt angry and you were surprised? Absolutely. Last night. So last night, uh, I was sitting, I was sitting in, a, in, I was sitting in the front with the lady in the back of me. She didn't know I was a director. She's oh, no. like, I don't like the way he's betraying us. I don't like it. And the other lady was like, you have to... They were, they were having a conversation. So these are the conversations that I want. So later, I, like, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't like the way it's, it's negative. So later, the other lady was like, well, uh, uh, you have to see what the guy's talking about, what, what, the, what the movie is talking about. Just look, look at the messages that's up in there. The other lady was like, so doing a Q&A, the lady who was, who was just like, I don't like it, she got up and she left. 
So oh. yeah, so I mean, because it's hard to. It's, I'm telling you, it's, it's very hard to to look at and examine itself. It's like the most difficult thing. So is these like even as filmmakers, right? So as filmmakers, we can say like you have a lot of filmmakers say, well, they uh, they don't want to do anything uh, high, upset with Hollywood because they can't because they don't want to. Uh, um, because they they're not making films, so they put the blame place the blame on Hollywood and say they're not it's this whole this whole thing Illuminati, and said that you know this, the Illuminati won't allow me to make movies. No oh, man, you won't make movies. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with the Illuminati, you know. So so it's easier to blame things on the Illuminati or to say the reason why certain people are successful in the business because. They're doing certain things. I saw them give the sign. Yes! I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. Maybe these people just work hard, you know. Uh, they did something. They, 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 didn't, they didn't go in with the mindset of, I can't do it because, unless I sell my soul, you know. Um, so, but it's easier to say those type of things when you feel that your, our careers are not progressing the way we feel like they are. So it's easy to say, it's the Illuminati, blaming on the Illuminati, instead of saying, okay, maybe uh, I'm just not projecting my mind to do, uh, maybe, maybe it's those are the thoughts. Cause you know, the, the, subliminal, the, the, the subconscious mind is very important. It's very powerful. So if you think, think that the only way you can be rich or the only way you can be successful or do this is because you, or you have to say or so, then you're never going to be successful. You're never going to be rich because you feel that in order to get these things, I have to sacrifice something. I have to sacrifice my soul. No, you don't have to. You can be wealthy. You can be rich. You can be successful and still keep your moral, uh, uh, the moral fabric of who you are as a human being. But we, 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 we give our subconscious minds this, uh, these commands when we really don't have to. I mean, we have to just know that we can be successful regardless of what. Yeah. We well, you know there's xenophobia, which is fear of the other. Mm -hmm. And I forgot what the term is for fear of people within your own group, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But it is really interesting to examine that. Whatever, whoever your group is, whether it's in church or, or, or college or your neighborhood or street racing. Uh -huh. um, but it's just interesting because I think that's like a taboo topic uh -huh. because it's like, well, no, we're supposed to, but when there's issues within the group with everybody, whoever they are, and there's stereotypes that certain people are supposed to live up to, I'm more referring to my own situation, but it, it, it makes people very angry and, and, and it's, very, it's, it's very taboo to kind of talk about that. And, you know, I applaud you for, I haven't seen the film, mm -hmm. but I applaud you for doing that because, you know, you, you are gonna rattle people, whatever it is, when you talk about your own neighborhood or whatever it is, and you, and you challenge stereotypes. Oh yeah. Um, one of the things that um, a couple of audience members said yesterday that one guy said, um, he's, he, he's like, man, he said, I'm just stunned. I really don't know what to say. He said, I mean, he said, uh, this is is needed. He said, but I just don't know, I, I don't know what to, you know, he was like, I don't know what to say, but it, I know this is needed. You know, I'm like, it is needed. I mean, I know it's because it's, and the audience be like completely silent when watching this film. I'm like, okay, like what's going on? It's like silence. Because people are thinking, people are thinking and people are, um, and I've, like yesterday, I've seen some people get up and walk out because it's difficult. It's, 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 it's difficult to, uh, again, it's difficult to like look at self. So, you know, they get up and walked out. It's like, you know, it's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> you know, it's nothing you can do. But as, as long as, as, long as uh, we place the blame on others and not do self critique or look at self, then we can never get out of the condition that we're in because we're always pointing a finger instead of just saying, okay, this is what I'm going to do to correct the issues in our community. And people like, no one wants to see, like what human being wants to see a, a one-year-old child gets killed? No, no one wants to see that. People want to see, like people want to see uh, a community, all communities, I'm sure, 
decent, safe. People want to see that, you know. So that's just that's just my take on things. Yeah. Do you are you gonna do a volume two? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is Why it you... already in the works? Uh, well, I'm starting to outline it, and it's gonna yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a volume two.